Is this thing on? Uh, okay, good. Uh, it's Johnny's log, I guess. Day... I lost count. It's been two months since this time machine here has dropped out of the sky. And I still, after all my efforts, have not been able to solve it. I am at a dead end and I have no idea how to go further. Wait, wait. Wait, what? Don't worry about it here. There's huh? a letter that explains everything. Don't worry about it. Okay. Okay, yep. All the notes are just in here. Thanks, me. Hello, everyone. It's me as Johnny, and welcome back to another episode of SMP Video. And, well, before we start with this episode, I think I have a time loop to close. Just gonna pop in here. Sorry, just passing through. Don't worry about it here. There's a letter that explains everything. Don't worry about it. Alright, and with that time loop now completely closed, we can crack on with the episode. And there is a lot of things that I have to do. Some of them are going to involve this nifty little machine. However, I have some other duties to attend to. But I'll get to that in a second. First of all, look at this little place. I have made a little research station right here to kind of analyze the time machine and see what it does also we have a new mod on the server actually two and they're not mods they're plugins i keep calling them mods with two plugins that allow us to make custom maps now but also we have invisible item frames i have some in my inventory <laughs> that's also how we did this uh, it's pretty cool and it's pretty nice for builds like these where I can just add a bit of detail. And yes, I am going to be using these a lot in the future. And yeah, I just made this big sort myself in like five minutes, can you tell? This is something I'm really trying to do with my uh, builds a lot this season to create like these little, nice little spaces that you can walk through. They don't serve a purpose, but they look quite nice. And uh, well, I, I made another one of those. Let's quickly go over there. Ruined Acres. The... Not the happiest place on earth, just the, the place on earth, really. Yes, this is where my villager breather is. Um, I can quickly do this and show you the inside of it. Uh, it looks a bit weird now with all the black concrete, but that's obvious because the windows have to be black. Originally, this was going to be like a pub or something, but I kind of freestyled this one uh, majorly, and it kind of went in a different direction in the end. And I was like, okay, well... It would be really funny to call our villager breather the old person home. And yeah, this one is even more ruined than some of the other things I've built. I think this is like probably the most ruined build we've had, which is kind of in lore, because I kind of feel like this build was already half destroyed <laughs> before the entire city got ruined. Um, but yeah, I made a nice little climb up here, connecting it up to the train station. And this doesn't really go much of anywhere. This is where you can breed the villagers if you want. But yeah, uh, for this one, I really tried to freestyle it because honestly, that's a lot more fun in my opinion. Uh, I didn't really come up with anything in creative aside from the beginning build palette with like the wood going to the mud, going to the jungle. And while that's really great and all, uh, this did take me like about four hours to build. This is kind of something that I've realized with my style of building and my base this season. It's just so much. I have to put so much time and effort into building these things, which obviously gives an amazing result, don't get me wrong, but it does take a while. So, you know, if we're looking at this entire city, I'm not sure if I'm going to be fully able to do this by the, the, by the end of the season. I'm going to try my best to at least fill in like these holes, but I might not get to the, like this outer ring specifically which means i might need to maybe i'll do this bit but i might not do this bit because there's also nothing here yet i don't know i'm not sure yet <laughs> this just takes so long to build uh speaking of which th this thing <laughs> is also here and it is not completely finished yet and we need to finish it because else lapda is going to kill me in case you don't know or in case you're new here or you simply forgot, me and Labda are part of a business relationship called the Conglomerate. And as part of that conglomerate, we are trying to connect the entire server by railway, which is a pretty massive task, but we're also all very excited for it. And it just so happens that this little train station right there I'm standing on right now is going to be the second biggest hub on the server, with a total of seven train lines. And this is the only functional one. 
We, we have one on the other side, but that one's broken. <laughs> because, again, seven. And all the other ones are going to go underneath the entire place, right here, in these little not finished stairs yet. It's all gonna go underground, because I kinda wanna have a subway area. And I've been putting it off, not gonna lie. <laughs> I do not have a design for the entire subway thing, and honestly, I'm not gonna make one. I'm going to wing it in this episode, because yes, I'm going to have to fix it this episode. Because else, again, lab that's probably going to kill me. So while future me is going to be busy working all of that out, and we'll check in with him later, present me has something else in store. You see this little thing? Yeah, I didn't ignore it. I know you've seen it, probably. Yes, this is another prank by... Once again, Labda. It's always Labda. Labda just takes over all of my videos. Essentially, I gave him a lot of Silk Touch books, and he gave me, as payment, a monster. We're in a bit of a prank war. I think this is, like, the last one that he is going to do. Yeah, this final time. I'm not done yet. I need to do one more final prank retaliation as well. And it just so happened that Labda's birthday was two days ago. Okay, I couldn't play when this actual birthday was, my laptop's broken, and I was out with my family, so I'm sorry, it's going to be happy birthday, two days ago, prank, yes. Essentially a while back, I got pranked with a pumpkin, uh, which set off a bunch of shriekers, and I was like, huh, I thought it was going to explode, and Lavda also said in the comments of that video, oh, I should have made it explode, so, um, Today we're going to f fake him out, thinking it's going to explode. Then it's not going to explode, but then it's going to explode later. To catch him off guard or something. So uh, let's get to work. Okay, so this is going to be the basic system. Once you open this chest, there's going to be a redstone loop created. that will activate both of these dispensers at different times. This one will be filled with TNT, and thus drop a TNT down. And this one will be filled with a water bucket that will, at the last possible moment place down water, and thus making it not explode. However, it is on a loop, meaning that it will activate again later, meaning there's going to be another TNT falling, and the water is going to get retracted at the last possible moment, thus exploding the build, and then we're going to have a little chamber underneath with some goodies, because again, it's a birthday prank. We're not, we're not trying to be evil people here. We're just, uh, we're just trying to scare him, which is, I guess, also even, so, so don't think about it too much. Not my finest work, but these pranks are never really about good builds anyway. <laughs> What's more important is that they're at least somewhat functional, you know? I mean, you've seen the gravel ghoul. <laughs> Not exactly winning any beauty prizes either, but yes, this is old boombox. It's a very simple TNT thing, uh, because this, this little... Redstone Circus is actually quite wide. So this is kind of, I think, to me, the end of our little prank war. It's gone on for long enough. Uh, here's the final signs. Well, 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 monster dude. It seems like there was an important day a few days ago, but I forgot why. Either way, let's end this prank war with a blast. Introducing old Boombox. Don't worry, he won't explode. Just open your chest and get your goodies. Happy, I forgot what day it was a few days ago, day. Ha 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 ha, creature man. That's gonna be the last creature man voice, maybe. Unless he retaliates with something so big that I cannot stop it. But honestly, I think this would be a good funny way to end it on. Alright, I've put it on for long enough. Let's work on the subway now. Here I am, I just got done digging out the entirety of our subway station down here. The entire layout's done, three different stations, all completely dug out. And then left them message me and told me that they are <laughs> facing the wrong way, which is a huge blunder on my part. So yeah, I gotta now completely uh, redo these. Give me a minute. And it has taken probably another hour or two too many, but I have actually finished the template, I guess, for the subway stations. It's, it's, you know, it's become a bit bigger than I initially expected. Every time this guy, every time I tell him I'm recording, he just plug in his own things. Anyway, yeah, this 
entire station was supposed to be a lot smaller if from like the brief clip you maybe saw of the of the old layout but i felt like this is the only and also best way to make this work and also to be honest i mean it is gonna be like the second biggest hub of this entire server so making it a little bigger isn't too bad the only thing is yeah you already know i'm, I'm gonna have to you know decorate all of this now and this is not not something a small task let me tell you this is going to take me several days if not weeks so if this video comes out a little bit later than planned <laughs> that's why now i've just gone afk for a little bit to let my copper oxidize for my build and i seem to be encased in bedrock somehow I don't know how this happened, <laughs> but seeing that there's only one other person online, I think I know who did this. Let's see if I can get out of here, because I don't think he knows that I have ender pearls. So I don't know what he's expecting, but like asking me for help or something. So I'm going to see what happens if I just show up and don't mention it all. <laughs> Where did he put me? Where is this? Where do I go? Here? That seems like a hole that I can... Oh, yep. Alright, let's... Ouch. How much effort did he put into this? How did he even get me here? Now, I am curious how he even got me down there. I mean, obviously he dug a hole for a little bit, but I didn't see a clear way that he got me down there. <laughs> also, oh, while I'm here, I need to check out my little prank. It has blown up. Okay, good. <laughs> and he is taking the stuff. Okay, that's good. I'm happy about that. Hello. Hello. Why are you here Hello. at my station? Hmm? Why are, you, why are you here at my station? You wanted to talk to me. <laughs> I, I did not. It was a... It was a... It was a... It was a... A ruse. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> that's what you get. <laughs> what? What? That's what that's you get. What, what, what? That's what I get. Yeah. For don't don't play. Do don't play dumb. <laughs> don't play dumb. Do I wonder. <laughs> I wonder how I ended up in a one by one bedrock <laughs> hole when I logged back onto my computer. I wonder how that happened. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here, you! Well, on the bright side, some of my copper has oxidized. Oh my goodness! My goodness! This guy! <laughs> and having dealt with that guy, we are now done with the subway station. Yeah, haha, I tricked you. This is not right after the last clip. You thought it was? You're wrong. <laughs> yes, I have finished the subway station. Hi, thanks. Uh, graffiti for saying hi to me. Hi to you as well. Yes, I have made graffiti for this thing. I'm using the map mod once again. Uh, I have to divide it up into segments because else literally <laughs> the invisible item fairy thing breaks, which is a bit annoying, but uh, whatever. Yes, I have completely finished it up and it is glorious. Greg. Essentially, this thing is divided into three stations. Um, here's the first one. It's green. There's another one right here, which is red. And we're actually not going to take the stairs for the last one, because there's a hole in the wall here, which takes us right to the last one, which is blue. Yeah, I tried to go for a little bit more color on this one, um, mainly because it's inspired by those Berlin uh, underground stations. I don't know if you've ever been to Berlin and taken... Uh, is it the U-Bahn or the S-Bahn? I forgot. I think it's the U-Bahn. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, though. Um, uh, all of those stations basically have colored walls, uh, different colored walls. And it's always, ever since I've been to Berlin, it's just been like, oh, that's so cool. And originally, I was actually going to make a subway station base um, instead of a whole city. Uh, the idea of Scavenger City kind of originated from that subway station base. Um, but yeah... Um, that's kind of where my inspiration is from. Also, we have some cool signs here telling you that you're in Scavenger City, in fact. Uh, 
It's Greg again. And yeah, this project ballooned way out of proportion, in part due to the graffiti. That one took me a solid minute to make, but also because, like I said earlier, <laughs> in a different clip, um, these were orientated the wrong way. They are originally orientated like this when they're supposed to be orientated like this because if they're orientated like this, they, the entire map that allowed them made breaks, which I should have known, but I didn't. And it's technically not even done yet because on these blue screens, you've probably seen them, um, there are going to be timetables for when every train leaves and stuff. I'm leaving it up to Lapta because he's actually going to time everything and make it accurate for some reason. He's a real madman. You think I'm a madman making Greg graffiti? No, that guy wants accurate timetables for our Minecraft train station, which is pretty funny. Also, I forgot to show you this one. This one's one of my favorite ones. <laughs> kind of ran out of ideas at some point. Yesterday, me and Lapta decided to dig a big tunnel and <laughs> In my absence, he's apparently already been decorating it, mostly. <laughs> yeah, this goes all the way to the shopping area. Uh, I think I can show it in the map. Yeah, look at that. That is a massive project that we did. It took us all evening, but it was worth it. Because now, pretty soon, or maybe technically right now even already, I don't know, I didn't expect this to be here, <laughs> you can take a train to Scavenger City from the shopping station. I mean, you can also just, you know, fly there and it'll be way quicker, but still, it's pretty cool. But yeah, with this project now finally being done, uh, that means that technically this entire thing is also basically done. But also not really, now that we have the map mod, I kind of want to make some custom signs for this and maybe a different custom design for these boards here. They're going to be different design because it's going to be like, these are the old signs. But we don't use anymore, it's gonna be lore, and it's gonna be- But yes, basically, this thing is finally complete. It has taken me so much time of my life to build this entire station. But I'm calling it complete. Even though it technically isn't complete yet. Shut up. Also, I made a bamboo farm here, off camera. It's one of my own design, it's not the best. Uh, it's been running okay-ish. You can see how it works here, it's just observers and the observer sees one of the cactus grow and then obviously sends a signal. Did we just miss it? We did not. Okay, good. That's basically how it works. It's one of my own design though. I kind of want to challenge myself, use the slime blocks right there. And that's basically the only reason why I'm telling you this is first of all, I want to show it. Oh, there it went. That's great, dude. Um, that That is basically the last farm that I want to build here. But I know what moment you've been waiting for. We are going to be talking about the time machine. I've not forgotten about it. I just had to get things done. Or else Lapda would ritually sacrifice me to the Deutsche Bahn. Alright? And we couldn't have that happen. So yeah. I've been doing some reading up uh, on my own paper that I got. Um, and I think I know how this thing works. It is a lot different than our original time machine. If you could remember, it was like with redstone torches, you could accelerate uh, the time in an area by an explosion. That's not how this thing works. This one has coordinates and it has time. You can set these two to anything you want. And you can go there. The coordinates are pretty important because obviously if we spawn here on the same course, it's not going to be anything. And I actually want to travel to places <laughs> which are not just here, but before I got here when there's only grasslands, you know? The only real question I have is how did they get here? I mean, it looks familiar. It looks like my design kind of, but it's different. I didn't make this. It just appeared here one day. <laughs> And I don't know how or what, but I think if we start using these things, this thing to go to different time periods, we might figure some stuff out. I don't know. But before we do, there is one very important thing that I need to mention. And that is that we cannot die. Because I have no clue what's going to happen to us if we die. To go to a different time and a different spot in the world, it's going to be like weird world spawn mess ups and I don't know where we go if you die 
Uh, maybe I'll just get sent back to my own little house in my own little bed where I have my spawn point. But maybe it's going to fling me across time and space if I die. So I do not wish to figure out which one of the two it's going to be. So we got to be extra careful. I think it's time to suit up, go in, and I'm not going to tell you where we're going. Ahaha, I am a secret little boy, but I've set it in coordinates. And we are going on an adventure in the next episode, which means I have to do my outro really quickly. Uh, like and subscribe and stuff.